Hi guys, Innovative Pachyderm here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. Now, I'm here with the woolly rhinos, <laughs> or the black rhinoceros from... Okay, why Minecraft do you have weird anonymous music like that? <laughs> Anyways, I'm here with the Zawa black rhinos textured to be woolly rhinos so i've I, when i showed off that i had um, new custom textures i only was able to show off the black rhino or the black version of the woolly rhino because i thought it'd be cool to have like a a brown woolly rhino and a pure black woolly rhino even though it just looks more like a black rhino <laughs> But here's a better look at what the woolly rhino is supposed to look like. And then I was able- I- I could, they're so rare, I can't find them. I guess they made them as rare as they are in real life, because I think they're almost- or are extinct. But I was only able to find this one. And I made, uh, pachyderm vials and pachyderm kibble to tame it and to breed, uh, to breed them together. I also decided to make a third one, a third texture, and it's supposed to be a white woolly rhino. But I couldn't, I couldn't find any more, and I thought I had another black rhino in the sauropod enclosure, but I can't find it. I don't know if it died or something, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Sadly, so we're just stuck with these one, these three. Uh, I might breed some more. I don't- I'm pretty sure woolly rhinos would have lived in herds. Um, some rhinos actually lived in herds. But yeah. You might be wondering, like, when did I build this? So, um, I did most of this off camera, and I kind of did have an intro, um, uh, beforehand for this video. But, um... I didn't realize that oh, I didn't turn on the record my mic option <laughs> on OBS. So I kind of recorded the the first part of the video with no voice audio for me. Like I didn't I didn't dig this out in in that clip. I just said what what my plan was and showing off these guys. But um I didn't see that I didn't actually record audio until after I built all this. Cause I was like, uh, I, I, I all tabbed and checked and it went to OBS and I saw that my mic was turned off and I was like, no, <laughs> like I was so upset with myself. But the good thing is I didn't actually like record like a whole episode worth. It was only like five minutes, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just five minutes of me like introducing the the rhinos and saying what my plan was, and then I built um, this is a DecoCraft uh, hanging bridge that I decided to do. The uh, okay, so the idea of me doing like a little valley type thing like this was sort of inspired by um, the chaotic crafts the chaotic craft yeah <laughs> i almost forgot his youtube channel name or uh, or as i call him caden because we're close friends he he has like a like a hanging no it's not hanging uh, uh, i i don't know i forgot what it's called i've I don't know what's with me, I forget words, but he has like some sort of walkway type um, road or that goes across enclosures and his, it, he has one for his Elasmatherium and the Elasmatherium will go under underneath the bridge. So I kind of want to do something somewhat similar to that, but at least only for here. I originally was going to put kangaroos in here. And make this kangaroo valley but um, I kind of changed my mind on that 
Also, another thing I'm stealing from from Caden are his his custom trees. <laughs> so suck it, Caden. I'm taking your trees. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. I, I respect you. I love your custom trees. I decided just to copy them. Even though I don't really do a good job on it. <laughs> I also need more of that spruce... Spruce stuff. So yeah, Kaden, you, you inspire me and I'm taking some of your ideas. Well, I, I mean, no, I'm not stealing, I'm plagiarizing. Does that even sound better? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I was trying to make a... Oh, hey, I do have more. That's good. Trying to make a reference to um, the odd ones out video when we plagiarized uh, Jaden Animations video. I don't know if any of you actually watched the odd ones, the odd ones out, or Jaden Animations. Um, where's my teleport? I say just two. There we go. Hopefully, I, I'll start breeding more of the rhinos in the future, and maybe they'll give me more uh, bully rhinos because I still there's still more um, uh, textures. That are for the. I need to save that. Uh, that are for the black rhino, but I kind of lost my, my train of thought. Uh, there's still some black rhino textures that are in Zawa that I haven't turned into woolly rhinos, because I still want to have the the chance to still have normal rhinos in the mod. This looks odd. There we go. Did that fix it? Eh, sort of. Another idea was to have my own mini version of redwood trees, but I need more um, redwood leaves and wood. Sadly, I can only get um, a few at a time. Yeah, see, I just ran out right there. I'm going to have to go farming for some. And the, word, the sad thing is, like, I'm a plant where I want them. The sad thing is, uh, it's um, very picky where I need to plant the saplings. Otherwise, it won't work. Like, it needs to be at a level 63 or less, I think, in order for the redwoods to actually grow. I'm just trying to give these trees a try, because I, I do like how um, the, the Chaotic Craft does them, so I'm trying to learn how he does it. And I'm out of leaves. So I'm going to have to do more farming for those. And I don't want to put too many trees, because... I don't know, I don't think these guys would have lived in really condensed forests. So I don't know. I also did did this cuz since this this bleh, 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 bleh. Sorry, I stutter a lot. Since this isn't a really big enclosure, they're not really big animals either. Um I think like small versions of the trees would work better than having those behemoths and I guess some of these would work, not gonna lie, but, um... 
I don't know. I'm gonna work more on these custom trees. Gonna harvest a bit more stuff. And I'll get back to that. Or back to you guys, so. BRB. Honestly, doesn't look that bad. <laughs> I still need to add like a little river or something for them so they can drink, obviously. Or maybe something else. But I still need to I still need to add a river. Also, um the rhino, the baby rhino grew up and started attacking me, so I had to <laughs> I had to use some of my pachyderm kipple to tame it. But now Let's try to breed them. They got to be close to each other. Come on. Make with the babies. to do it again nothing's happening last time I did this th th those two were like bumping into each other and everything these two aren't doing anything Instead, come on, make with the babies. Do I need like a book or something? Zawa, that Zawa. Animal tracker. Ralphiki's field guide. Hmm. Well, I don't know why they're not breeding. I think I need to add more toys or something for them to be happy. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll try to figure that out. Um, but I'm gonna get the river set up here. So I kind of wanted to just show off what I did here and it's looking pretty cool I actually like it I need to add a bit more stuff into this enclosure I think some stone or something I don't know I need to, I need to add some stuff in here but I'll see what I can do so BRB guys so I did a bit more work not much um, I decided to take out the grass and put in some puzzle because I thought the puzzle would look nice and then I needed to when I needed to but then I dug out a little stream area and did a little pond and the rhino seemed to like it especially this one this one enjoying it especially I keep getting stuck under this oh yeah um, and I also figured out you can make the animal data book using kibble and a book. So, I got a book, I got some kibble, and now we got an animal data book. So, this I guess this is like the Dinopedia and stuff for it. 
Treat mild. Tamed with pachyderm kibble. Bred with pachyderm vial. Sex female. Oh, okay, so that's a female. You're a male. Variant 2. Trait naive. I, okay, so this is... Also, they do need water and food. <gasps> okay. What are you? You're also... Ah, no wonder. I was trying... <laughs> okay. Well, that makes sense. I was trying to breed these two together. Well, that didn't work. Um, trait naive. Seems to be happy. And then I also saw... I also made some enrichment balls as well, and I put them around the area. But I thought um, most zoos have stuff like this. Look at it! I think he's playing with it or something. Who knows? And I also went into Deckercraft and got some hay, hay bale thingies and put them there. I don't know. I brought it. I brought some detention. I also detention attention, and I also have that thing there just to look like this is um, this is what the. The, the uh, zookeepers use to carry on the carry around the food and stuff. I keep thinking I have four of them, but then I keep looking over there and it's just a log. <laughs> Sadly, I used up more than I needed to with the packet packaderm vial, so I'm gonna need more if I want these to breed. But well, all right. So, I think to end off the video, I kind of want to build them a little rhino hut thingy. And it's not going to be anything too complicated. Actually, I think I'm going to have to move this. There we go. It's not going to be anything too complicated. I kind of just want to... My dog's barking. Maybe... Here. Whoops. Whoa, wow. Okay, what is wrong with me? <laughs> there we go. And then... Hmm. Like that. Oh, by the way. Uh, I start... Uh, this comes out after I've uploaded the video, but I got myself um, the Jurassic World Bedrock DLC, and I actually liked it. And it seems like the video's done pretty good. Like it's gotten a good. Um, like I think you guys liked it a lot. Actually, not getting bad reviews. And some people said they'd like to see me continue with the series. So that makes me happy. And that means I can finally have something else on the channel that's not just this, you know. And that way I have more variety for you guys. I built this style of a shed before when I made that um, Dinotherium. My goodness, I am, these blocks break so easily. When I made that Dinotherium um, species video thingy. And I kind of liked it and I think I'm going to use it more for stuff like this. That should be good, actually. And then I think to make this more interesting, I'm a 
I'm gonna use this path, a grass path block to make it look like it's trampled and stuff. It's kind of nice and you can see it from here so you can see when a rhino or its baby or is in there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. One of my other plans was to actually, like for the channel I mean, was like I now have a webcam now. So I kind of want to do horror game uh, videos for my channel with the webcam on so you can see my reaction when I get jump scared. Because guys, I get scared easily. I, like, <laughs> I think it'd be very funny for you to see my reactions. But, uh, let me know what you think if you'd like me to play some horror games. And have a webcam. I also plan to use a webcam if I ever decide to livestream again. But I don't think I'd use it for, like, here or anything. Maybe just only for horror games and live streams. You guys seem to enjoy your enclosure. I feel like I should have added snow. But I kind of like this. I think in there, um, I think it should be fine like this. It kind of looks cold-ish and makes sense for these guys a little. But I feel like a little bit of snow would work. But I don't know. I think I'd have to do that um, on another time. And I have to get more rhinos. I need. To, I want to get that white variant rhino to show you what it, like how it looks. But anyways, I think that'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did like it. Comment what you think and what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys- or subscribe if you're new and like what you see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>